Hi everyone, it's Sav. I know I look really extra, but I had to go all out for Valentine's Day, even though it was, you know, a couple days ago, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, basically today's video is going to be about what I got for Valentine's Day and also what I gave for Valentine's Day. I love watching these kinds of videos. It gives me a lot of gift ideas, even not for Valentine's Day. All of the timestamps for today's video will be in the description below. So if you don't really care what I've got and you just want to see what I gave, then you can look at those timestamps in the description. I will say that what I gave can basically be customized for any holiday or any sort of thing that you want to do for your significant other. It can basically be for their birthday, your anniversary, any of those sorts of things can basically pass for what I'm going to show you guys. Um, I actually don't have the physical present that I gave my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, but I do have pictures and I will discuss a little bit of it in today's video. But first I'm going to start out with what I got for Valentine's Day. So for Valentine's Day this year, I got everything you see here plus a couple of other things that I'm going to show you. So basically I did get some lovely flowers. Now this is really really special to me because my boyfriend let his little brother pick these out for me and he knows I love pink so these have little pink and red tips and that just melts my heart and I actually cried when I saw it and also got this really cute little balloon and is it not the cutest thing ever? My brother's, um, my, my boyfriend's brother also picked this out. So that was really sweet. Aren't they so cute? So I'm going to put that back up there. Okay. And of course I got a card and I'm not going to read it cause you don't care, but it is so cute. I love this card. Um, I love getting cards. That's like my favorite thing. Honestly, I would have been happy with just a card. And then of course I got some chocolates and funny story <laughs> when I opened it up it may or may not have fallen all over the floor but I still ate them because I'm committed and I wasn't gonna waste it but yeah little chocolates okay so now I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite thing that I got and I'm so excited to wear these so let me go ahead and show you there's two pairs in here you guys oh my god I'm so excited so the first pair I'm going to show you are the pairs that I originally wanted. Now I'll show you guys, these are the pairs that I wanted. We went shopping together to go pick these out so I could try them on and kind of see what they had. Also in store advance, I have a buy one get one 50% off if one of them is on sale. So we didn't know that, but that's what we did and it was so much cheaper. So I saved a lot of money rather than just ordering it online or I wanted some white like era or Doheny styles and this is what. I got I am so obsessed with it I haven't worn them yet but this one has a gray bottom which all of my other brands have brown bottoms but that's okay I think it looks really nice and clean and I haven't worn them yet like I said I'm nervous but I love them they are so 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 cute and I'm so excited to wear them I already have a lot of pairs of vans and that's what I usually wear like daily I don't really wear any other shoes except Birkenstocks which is summer so yeah I'm really excited about these and I love them so much. Here is the information on those in case you're interested in getting one for yourself. I do wear a size 10. Don't judge me. I have big feet. But um, yeah, I don't know if that was even focused. It probably wasn't. But yeah, highly recommend. So cute. So are you guys ready for this? Because I think you are. Is this not the most beautiful pair of shoes you have ever seen? Like, are you joking me? So this is also um, an era one, but like, oh, I also have worn these, obviously, but oh, they're different. So like, they're like different and everything. Well, I guess it would go this way, but I'm so obsessed. I cannot wait to wear these. I'm already like planning outfits in my head and everything. But obviously like the pre the patterns are the same so it doesn't look awful. I haven't even seen these online so I was so excited when I saw these in store. Like they're just so gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear these. So and these are also in a size 10 because obviously my feet are big and you guys can see that information if you are interested in that one. This one is cheaper. You can see the price. It was $49.97 but the orange sticker means it was on sale. So this is the one that we got for basically how much is that? $24.00. So, I think that's everything that I got. I love everything I got. So, I am like obsessed with this Valentine's Day. It's probably my favorite so far. So, now we are going to be talking about what I gave my boyfriend. So, I like I said, I don't have a physical copy or a physical replica or whatever. I don't have the physical gift that I gave him, but I'll insert it here on the screen so you guys can look at it. it basically, it's just a shoebox with paper wrapped around it. I 
asked for a scrapbooking paper a couple of Christmases ago so I just used some of that that I had and also some really cheap craft paper which is just like brown from Dollar Tree that you I highly recommend getting because it's perfect for any occasion and it just looks like rustic and you can dress it up with ribbons or bows and so that's the brown paper you're seeing and then on the inside I just bought some little paper scraps from Dollar Tree and filled everything up with red things so there was like some optic white toothpaste and Twizzlers and Red Hots and hot tamales and um, a lot of other things that are just red and I got some ring pops and I, I bought two packs and I picked out the reds I was hoping they had some red ones in there and they did which was good and I kept the other ones because I love ring pops and I got a couple of other things as well I don't exactly remember off the top of my head and then for the lid I just grabbed some string and I'll show you guys I think it was this string just grab some random yarn and I just stuck it across and I tried hot gluing it, but don't do that because um, basically if you put it on the sides of the of the lid like I did, then it won't close. So just use tape. And so I just took some of this, cut it across, used tape. And I also, and then I just used the same scrapbooking paper and then cut out little rectangles and then wrote with just some Sharpie Happy Valentine's Day. And they have these, I think, I don't remember, I think there was like 100, maybe 50 of these little mini clothespins at Dollar Tree. I added a bunch of different things in there. And I wanted just to say that this would obviously be a really, really great gift for anything. Just take a shoebox and, you know, pick a color, probably, you know, your significant other's favorite color, and then just coat them with it. You can paint it. You can obviously buy a box from somewhere with the, the favorite color, whatever color you want to go for, and then just fill it up with other things. But I think it looks really nice when you kind of pick a theme for your box. So obviously Valentine's Day, I chose red. So just think of things that he uses on the daily basis, the things that he won't, won't have to spend the money on, and just a really thoughtful gift of things that he might like. And I feel like things that men want are very practical things also. So I didn't want to just spend that. And I was like, hey, let me get you one more thing because I felt really bad after he spent what he did on my vans. And he was like, okay, you can get us some food. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm the kind of person who I think in relationships Ships, it should be pretty even I don't think it should be relying on a man or a woman to take care of everything um, that's obviously to each their own do whatever you feel is good for your relationship but if you're a feminist and you're requiring your man to pay for your every meal you're not a feminist <laughs> you're something else I don't know um, so basically yeah I'm not a feminist but <laughs> I do believe in you know obviously gender equality and I think that that also comes with responsibility being kind of equal across the board for genders. Now I'm getting into a whole other controversial topic, but basically I'm just saying I didn't mind doing that. I feel like some people would be like, ew, you would pay for your boyfriend's meal. Like, no, that was my gift to him. And I don't ever mind doing that. I think it should be even, okay, even. So basically, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably all over the place and a lot of you guys probably go all out for Valentine's Day. Um, I know this wasn't the best video and it also is after Valentine's Day, so no one's gonna watch this and no one's gonna care. But maybe if you're here in 2023 and you're looking for Valentine's ideas, I hope this helped you a little bit. Even if you don't like everything that I did, this is just a really, really cool thing that you can do for your significant other that won't cost you that much unless you want it to and you want to add, you know, some really, really cute things in there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one.